have the bounty of having talks from the House of Justice mm -hmm. members or the International Teaching Center members. So um, when, when I was on Pilgrims, this was maybe about 15 years ago, one of the talks was from an International Teaching Center member at that time, and he was saying how it, his, in his profession he was a painter and also taught at a university. And so uh, what he would do as part of his work is he would go and give lectures about his art, and he would talk about, you know, his, you know what he did, you know, what, what inspired him to paint, and so forth. And so inevitably in his talk, he would end up talking about the Baha'i faith. Why? Because that's what inspired him to do this particular painting. So he was mentioning how, uh, you know, at one of these talks, he's talking about, you know, his art, and, the, and then all of a sudden he veers into the Baha'i faith and starts talking about the Baha'i faith. And in the middle of this lecture, this is a, you know, a lecture hall in a university, this one woman gets up and starts shouting at him, I didn't come here to hear about your religion. This is completely unethical. And blah, blah. So she's, you know, making this big fuss and stormed out of the room, you know. So uh, when he was giving this talk, he was, you know, uh, this is now him giving the talk while I was on pilgrimage. He was saying, you know, it's funny how these things are because he was saying when he was first appointed as a member of the International Teaching Center, he felt completely unworthy mm -hmm. and was saying, you know, I know the House of Justice is infallible, but could this have been a mistake? <laughs> 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 so, and then uh, when he first arrived, one of the first evenings he was there, he was asked to give a talk oh. to the pilgrim. And of course, he's having all these feelings of unworthiness. So he, he prayed to Baha'u and he said, give me a sign, please, that I'm in the right place. So he goes and he gives the talk. And at the end, this one woman comes up to him and says, do you remember me? <laughs> You were giving a lecture, and this one woman got up and, and started, you know, screaming. And he says, and he says, yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you at that lecture? She says, no, I was that woman. <laughs> <laughs> and says, many years later, I found the faith, and I'm a Baha'i and now. I'm on pilgrimage. <laughs> so that's been an amazing example. He's a true story. I mean, you never know. So all these notes, again, remember, these are just an expression, a, a reaction to these forces of oppression. Wow. These are still souls that were created by Baha'u'llah. So wow. Don't worry about it too much.